Eh, 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 eh. Woo, crawfish. Jeez Louise. Steaming. Hey, hey guys. Hey y'all. Welcome back to the channel. And Bay, tell them where we are today. We have crawfish in H Town from what's the name of the place, babe? Seven Spice Cajun Seafood. So we about to dig in and we're gonna talk about what we talking about today? Being cheated on. In a relationship. <sighs> Were you the cheater? Were you the cheater? Oh, uh, no you comment. Be on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's dig on no in. You ready? It. I'm ready. Let's All do right, it. Y'all, let's go. So, oh my God! Now y'all know y'all gotta suck the head. All right, and do twist. <coughs> it's spicy. <laughs> mm. So we got the seven spice um, seasoning. Jeez Louise. And you get to pick your um, flavor as far as flavor and hot, mild, or spicy. And this is actually hot. Yeah, I'm be smacking the whole video because it's hot. Like, seriously. <clears throat> it's good. And this is the, um, they have garlic butter and they have seven spice. This is seven spice. Are these jumbo? Mm -mm. No. So we're gonna talk about being cheated on. Um, listen, what I will say is, I cannot confirm or deny <clears throat> that I've ever been cheated on, but well, I do know. Oh, why you look like that? It's not for you, baby. Oh, um, let's go. There have been different situations and different relationships where something in the milk wasn't clean, mm -hmm. but I couldn't confirm it. <coughs> <coughs> My nose can't take it. If it ain't, if you ain't sneezing, if it ain't sneezing, sneezing if you ain't sneezing, that's it. Ain't sneezing. it. That's it. So, I mean, we've had those situations, or I've had those situations before, but if it gets to that point, to where I got to, I'm not checking no phones, first of all. <coughs> I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I'm not following you. I'm not stalking you. I'm not doing any of those things. So, please understand, if it gets to the point where I think you want something else, it's time for me to go. So, like, you just don't say anything? I mean, I may present my case. You're a Virgo. I'll let you know how I feel. Put that in mind. Well, but, you're a Virgo. <clears throat> I'm going to say how I feel about it, and I'm going to leave it alone. Either you're going to do something to rectify the situation. Or you're going to confirm my suspicions. So... I thought, but this sausage is good. I didn't even know they came in it. Guys, the sausage is extra. <laughs> Don't go to Seven Spice saying it came with sausage because it did not. It's extra. But it is good. It is really good. It's really good. They got a mixture too. It's like jumbo slash. These medium. crawfish are huge. Yeah, it's a mixture. Because this one is tiny. Look she at said, this. is it jumbo? <laughs> No, these is the real crawfish right here. That's right. I got some butter sauce. I'm going to dip my in. <clears throat> but no, um, mm. I agree with that, you know. So have you ever been cheating on that you know of? That you know of. That's the key. I'm going to say yes. <clears throat> I do know, you know. Mm -hmm. The question is, 
What made me stay? So you found out you were cheating on and you stayed. Yeah. Mm. I'm um I think I already know the answer, but go ahead. What's the answer? I think, you know, for me, I didn't want to let go of what I had going on at the time. The time invested? Time invested. Because it was a lot of time invested. And I couldn't see myself starting over mm. at all. A lot of people get stuck in that. Yeah. A lot of people get stuck in that. My mouth is on fire. My mouth is on fire, too. <sighs> um, drop a comment and let us know what you guys decided. Have you ever caught your mm, significant other cheating? If you did, did you stay? Did and you, if you stayed, why? Did you stay or did you go? <laughs> That's the question. Right. Mm, yeah, if I even suspect. I don't have time. I'm too grown for that. Like at our big our, our big ages, we speculating and it's exhausting. Like I don't I don't want to live like that. So right. I'm not gonna subscribe to it. Now, of course, you know, I was younger at one point and, you know, decided to live life mm. a little too hard. And so for me, excuse me, it came back around. Best believe. You put it out there. You put it out there. It's coming back. Definitely. It ain't a matter of if. It's when. It's a matter of when. This is why. You see how she just finished my sentence? Happens all the time. Everywhere. You try this butter sauce? It's kind of good. Mm -mm. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I like it with the sausage better. Mm -hmm. But, you know. It's up to you. Taste it. It's pretty good. So, y'all. If you take the tail and push it together and just take the top portion off. What you about to do? Dip it. <clears throat> and then all you have to do is take the bottom and push up. Pinch the tails and push it up. Uh, we, look at my shirt. We cross fish totally different. I'm always making a mess. So, <clears throat> the way that I was taught. Take the crawfish, the mud bug, twist, squeeze the head. They don't have a lot of juice in here. I got a problem with that. Because the claws are big. Take the claws off. Get what you can out of that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Then, hot, hit my mouth. Then, pinch the tail, twist it, and the vein should come out. See that? Ta da! Ta da! Then, you take the rest of it. I like to crack man with two hands and open it this way. I don't have time to be trying to pull it out. And then you are left with this right here. Yeah. Beautiful piece of meat right there. Dip it in the butter sauce. Beautiful piece of meat. Mm. Crawfish is a lot of work. But it's so, so worth, worth it. it. It's, so, it's worth so, it. so worth it. Yeah. It's so worth it. Again, they can put... Look at this. They can have more juice. Look at this. Yeah. Hmm. It's so worth it. Seven spice. It's hot as heck. You hear me? If you don't like heat, stay at the kitchen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, my mouth on fire. There, and this is not even the spiciest. This is the hot. 
<clears throat> what I want, a big one. They have mild, hot, and spicy. Oh, the juice running right there. This is not spicy. This is mild. I mean, this is hot. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah. It's so hot. <coughs> Being cheated on is not a good feeling. Mm -mm. It took me. It took karma for me to understand. Oh, Charlie. And if you've ever been a person that has cheated, go back and make it right. Don't leave the bad karma out there. Hold Don't on. keep doing it. How do you make it right? Tell on yourself? Be honest. <sighs> Be truthful. But like, we what if y'all broke up already? Still go back and tell the person after y'all broke up, like, hey, by the way, I cheated 20,000 nah, years ago. Nah, it's over then. If y'all broke up, it's over with. Nah. You saying if... What you say? <clears throat> Wait, I'm trying to figure this out. So you saying... If, if you cheated in your life... And y'all together? And it's over with. And y'all done. Just acknowledge your wrongdoing. To yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like it never happened and push it to the back of your mind mm -hmm. and just like oh lord my mouth is on fire act like it never happened so far this is hot <laughs> <laughs> like hot i'm gonna be miserable let me get some ice so i can't necessarily say like i was this close to cheating this close. Oh. Um, back in college. A girl, and you didn't? A girl I was dating. It got back to me. She was messing around. And so, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of it. But let's just say it was like a teammate or a teammate. A mm. Associate that I was cool with. And Don't tell me they the ones that told you. No, somebody else told me. It was like four people that told me. Like, yeah. Basically, when the team traveled, <clears throat> she'd be on some other shit. So I'm like, oh, no. Nah, no. Nah. Y'all watch out for these athletes. Are you, you're from an athlete, right? <laughs> exactly. So. Yes. Um, the girl considered to be my best friend at the time. We had, long short, she went from being a femme to a stud. I prefer more masculine presenting. And in her process, when she decided to become more masculine presenting, I was like, oh, snap. Why you look like that? <laughs> like, what? In a bad way? In a good way. Oh, snap. Because we were besties and she was a femme. I don't like films like that. So mm -hmm. I wasn't looking at her like right, that. Right, but when she switched to the other team. She switched up, cut a haircut. Girl was like, Bessie, what we doing? Hold on. Hold on. on. How do I? So in that moment Hold of, on. I can't believe I'm being cheated on. And da -da 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 -da, she, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, all don't that happen all the time. Got me. Be you hear careful. Me? But the thing is this, we were like this close to kissing, honestly, after that whole crying and, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing this to me, blah, blah. It's okay. Just like in the movies. Let me console you. Let me make it better. And then right when we were about to kiss, somebody walked into the room and we were like, oh shit, we're caught. The universe. So, <laughs> that could be the universe. <laughs> so, we never really... Got that far, and then it was like seven, eight years later. We found each other on Facebook, and um, we linked up, dated for a minute. It didn't last long, maybe like three years. It lasts like three years. Didn't last long, like three years. But understand this: 
I'm the type of woman I am. I called my ex, the one that played me, and said, hey, your homie, your former teammate is around, and she's interested in dating me. We didn't do anything then, but we're interested in, in exploring a relationship or getting to know each other now. How do you feel about that, considering you're my ex? As my ex, I'm going to be honest, as my ex, if you have a problem with it, I'm not going to do it. If you don't have a problem with it, then we're going to proceed. But I'm not going to move forward without your blessing. And I asked her, like, do I have your blessing to move forward? Because I'm not going to, you know, if you feel like it's disrespectful, I'm not going to do it. We're talking seven, eight years later. And we dated. And as soon as I posted that relationship on Facebook, the ex went off. Okay, so uh, what ended up happening with your girl? Um, she was mad for a minute. We posted the relationship. We went live about the relationship. Y'all went live. I mean, we <laughs> let people know we were together. Okay, we stayed together like three years. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? What happened? She cheated on me. Bitch. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all one one thing y'all know is two for sure. Yes, she did. The same way you get them, per se. This was a little different, so don't try to even go there. It was a little different. She even reached out and asked for permission. I did. That's what. But listen, for the rest of y'all, the same way you get them is the same way you're gonna lose them. Yep. Understand me that. Yeah. The same way you get them is the same way you're gonna lose them. Leave a comment. Down below. <laughs> I was trying to catch it when it dripped. I Listen, just be real. Be, be honest. honest. Let's just be honest. Once again, y'all heard that. Let's just be we real. Both said be honest at the same time. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no. Girl, I know the lyrics. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming and joining us today while we eat this seafood. This is not a sponsorship. Crawfish. Um, we had crawfish, we had sausage, we had the seven spice butter sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, the place we went to is called Seven Spice Cajun Kitchen, something like that. In Houston. In Houston and specifically, um, there, there is one near you. Um, but don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, talk to you later, guys. Just the two of us.